So back with another faulty console and this time I've got a PlayStation 3 and a few of you had been asking if I could maybe pick one of these up and do a video on repairing a, a PlayStation so I managed to find a really good deal on a, an older 40 gigabyte model and this one's got the yellow light of death so I'm going to be having a shot at repairing that but what I'll do first of all is quickly show you the auction listing and how much I paid for it so I'll just quickly show you this here I paid a grand total of £19.99 with £14 postage, so £34 overall, and that was for the, the console on its own. Um, I'll just quickly show you the description here. And basically, it's listed as having the, the yellow light of death and it suddenly stopped working. They also go on to say that they've taken it to a shop to get a quote for having it repaired, and they were told £40, but they never got around to getting it repaired. But whether that's true or not, I don't know. We'll find that out when I have a closer look at the condition it's in and strip the whole thing apart, so that's what I'll do now. So overall it's in reasonably good condition, it is kind of dusty, you can see there's kind of dust there and it's a bit grubby, but there's no major scratches and there's no like obvious damage anywhere, so that's good. I did notice that the top cover is sliding off here, so that's loose, and if you take a closer look, they've uh, kind of snapped the little tab that sits in there off instead of taking it apart properly, uh, which isn't a great sign, it means they've been into the console already and they don't have they didn't have the proper tools to take it apart, so uh, that's not great, but it could just mean that they've taken the top part off and decided not to go any further than that, <laughs> hopefully, but uh, yeah, other than that the Blu-ray drive is still in there, you can see it through the, the holes in the top there, and the um, show you this here. The uh, hard drive is still in there as well, so that's all good. So what I'll do now is I'll set this all up and we can see if we get any error codes and what the actual problem is with it. So I've got it all hooked up now and I've got the HDMI going to the TV and the, the power connector there, so I'll flip the switch at the back so we get power to the unit. And we've got the red light there, so let's fire it up and see what we get. So straight away we're going from the solid red to the, the green and then right into a yellow light and then back to the flashing red, so I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but I'll do it again. Yeah, so we've got the yellow light of death error, so next thing I'm going to have to do then is take this all apart and I'm probably going to have to get the, the heat gun onto it. So there's a few different tutorials online about how to fix the yellow light of death and uh, that's what I'll be following basically. I've never actually fixed a, a yellow light of death PlayStation 3 before. I fixed the Blu-ray lasers and all that kind of stuff but never had to fix the yellow light of death so that'll be new to me but that'll be in the next part of the video so yeah for now thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.